Hello and welcome to another week of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it is a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. It's kind of like a virtual cafe, virtual meeting place where in the live chat you can talk makeup, talk life. So if you're feeling lonely or you just want to join in and have a chat, then uh, this is the place to be. So I'm going to get right on into this. Um, I'm just going to let you know what I'm popping on my face and we're going to have a chat. So first up, I am using the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I've only used this once, I think, maybe twice. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, anyways. So guys, how has your week been? I was trying to think uh, about this and I, I can't think of what's gone on this week. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of American Idol um, and we're down to the final three and oh god they just have me in tears. Completely and utterly bawling my eyes out. I am such a sucker for watching people succeed. I love it. it just it makes me so happy I cry. <laughs> so a lot of the times when I'm crying, it's not because I'm sad or anything. I cry when I'm angry. I cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm happy. <laughs> so I cry a lot. <laughs> that makes me sound like I'm a complete crybaby. When I say I cry a lot, I, I don't mean like a lot of the time. Just for different emotions, strong emotions. We're going to go with that. But anyway, so American Idol, I am absolutely hooked on. This season has been the best yet. Absolutely amazing. The singers are true artists, not just singers. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I'm just feeling like being kind of glowy and sunshiny today. So we are going with that. Oh, I forget that it's... Uh, oh. What's gone on there? Don't unscrew it, Steph. Pull. Pull the top. It's not a screw top. Um, so yeah, anyways. <laughs> I, by the time this video is up, so Saturday, I hopefully will have watched the rest of American Idol. Oh. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot more crying before the end of it, but oh, you can really tell that some of these people sing from deep in their soul and it means more than just, you know, let's sing and get famous. I love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, are uh, any of you guys watching or have watched American Idol? So I thought I was kind of up to date, but one of them that I just watched um, apparently came out on Mother's Day in America and uh, I'm pretty sure that was a good couple of weeks ago. I'm not 100% not sure so uh, yeah don't quote me on that but <laughs> yeah I'm excited to see who wins. I'm not going to mention the, the singers names or my teeth, my teeth, my lip is sticking to my teeth. Two seconds. The joys of meds. Oh, that's better. So, <laughs> I'm not going to mention names or who my favourite or favourites are. To be fair, my favourites are all of them. Um... Because yeah, this, this year is really just, yeah, it's been the best singers. Yeah. So that is one thing I have done a lot of this week. Um, also, oh my word, while we're talking about crying, um, the other night, me and my boyfriend and our daughter we watched bohemian rhapsody 
I, I'm pretty sure I cried through probably 80, 90% of the film. Oh, when it's a true story, when it's about a real person, there's just, when you know it's like happened and oh, it just, I don't know, it's more, more touching. I don't know, my mind was blown. I mean, Freddie Mercury was just an absolute legend. I mean, I knew that before watching the film. Um, absolutely amazing, amazing man. And just such a loss to the world that he died so young. But that is besides the point <laughs> at the moment. Try, try to be happy. Um, yeah, getting quite sad there. Um, no, on a positive note, I I love that Brian May had a hand in the making of the film. So, you know, it's it's come from someone that really knew him, and not just people reading stuff about someone. So, yeah, that that got me in the feels completely. And yeah, I, I did a lot of crying, a lot of crying. I think I've got hair stuck to my face. I have, come away, please. I don't know how I get all these hairs stuck to me. I think when you've got pets, you find hairs in just everywhere, absolutely everywhere. It's a wonder they still have hair on them. There's <laughs> so much everywhere else. I quite often joke to my dog that I look more like more like her than she does because I'm always absolutely covered in her fur. Right, for face concealer, I'm going to go in with the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer in the shade 021 Beige. I didn't say what shade the ABH was. So the foundation was shade 220N. So yeah, let's see. There's not that much to cover up my skin's not been as bad but to be fair I've added in a couple of extra things to my skincare I've added in a vitamin C um, for night time and um, is it plant based hemi squalene squalene um, whatever it is <laughs> I haven't used it for a while just because it feels almost like a dry oil and I wouldn't say I love the consistency, but I do love, however, what it does to my skin. So I am going to continue using it because whatever it does, it's good. So, right. Don't worry about my neck. Okay, so the sun is really being annoying today let me see if i can squeeze slightly hopefully that's better let me just move that and i can see is that better yeah we shall see oh i'm wobbling everything all over the place i changed my nails again i am loving these nail wraps you just kind of peel them off stick them on and file the end off it is the easiest thing going um brilliant absolutely brilliant I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Right, for under my eyes um, and brightening, I've got the Madage Beauty. It is their Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. Wow. My brain is a complete mush. I feel like I've got a bit more in the way of dark circles today. So I'm literally just putting the extra one dot. I have got contact lenses in for if you're wondering why I look funny. Um, if you noticed at all, grab a concealer brush. So yeah, I've popped my green ones in. These are from Just For Kira. Um, it is a brand that I discovered through my wonderful friend, Elena, of Elena's Glam. And if you don't know who she is, you really are living under a rock. I uh, will, what will I do? 
I will link her channel in the description box below. Crikey. It's only morning and already my brain is just like not playing ball. This is not good. Not good. And yeah, I'm not sure which one of my meds it is, but one of them is causing me to have the driest mouth ever. So it feels like my lips are constantly stuck to my teeth. Which, uh, yeah, that is that. I don't want to brighten anywhere. Let's brighten there. Pop. some little flying thing outside the window that's uh, catching my eye <laughs> so let's do the nose first what else did I have to let me get I'm just gonna get some water <laughs> so I was having a look at my box of shame and it literally is overflowing to the point I now have another box and it's not a small box so I was thinking because obviously I decided that Karma Chameleon I was going to use an older palette um one from my collection but in my box of shame I have got quite a few palettes that aren't new but they're new to me um and I'm not sure necessarily whether anyone will want to see a video dedicated to them so in that case I think I'm going to add those into Karma Chameleon um, because I've got them and I really want to use them so yeah <laughs> yeah there, there's a lot a lot <laughs> and more coming so uh, yeah I do love this concealer, it's so good. Yeah, Madage Beauty really have some amazing products, absolutely amazing. So for cream contour, I am going in with the Sosu cream contour stick in the shade Cool. I love this. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> um, so what else has been happening? Oh, my bestie um, has now moved near to me. That was just like the best news ever. Um, so yeah, she's not far from me at all now. Unfortunately, I, with my health, my knees being how they are, I wouldn't be able to get to hers and get up the stairs. So, fingers crossed, she will be coming around soon. I cannot wait to see her. It's been too long, just way too long. So that is some really positive news i feel a bit carried away there yeah i'm i'm just dying to see her this pandemic's just been i think it's been hard on everybody for different reasons um I think one of the biggest reasons for a lot of people is that there's family members, friends, you know, loved ones that they haven't been able to to see for a long time. And uh, it looks like we are getting back to some kind of normal. So I'm hoping I'm hoping we get some kind of normal because there's a lot of people really suffering. I think if you suffer with mental health difficulties, like varying different ones, this pandemic has really, it's just really been awful. I don't really know how else to describe it, but for, for all of those suffering struggling feeling lonely please don't feel alone karma chameleon here is karma chameleon is here every saturday 3 p.m uk time 
and the live chat is always full i say this every week of the most wonderful beautiful human beings inside and out they are just just amazing and uh what does it and uh, um So if you are here for the live premiere, then please do join in the live chat. It's a really lovely little community that I would be lost without. Um, I think I've told you guys this so many times, but you've all made my life so much better. Some other exciting news. I have the new V Cosmetics Blood Moon palette on its way to me. I do also have the Lovers palette already here. I'm so excited for the Blood Moon. So excited. Bit under there. It looks absolutely amazing. It is all mattes, but I do happen to have um, the Chromatic palette from Rose Company Cosmetics. That is on its way to me. So uh, I think they're going to be a wonderful companion for each other. That's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. So for blush, or cream blush, liquid blush, I've got the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Mango Daiquiri. I love this and I'm not gonna I've taken to putting a bit on my hand now rather than putting loads of dots on my face because I am very good at going overboard and putting way too much on this is just one of the most beautiful colored blushes ever I love it. So yeah, you will be seeing a lot of uh, first impressions videos coming up because, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. Curse Cosmetics, Fatal Beauty, um Yvette Beauty Metamorphosis Rose Company Cosmetics um Natasha Denona I'm actually finally going to be trying Natasha Denona so I am so hoping it is worth the hype um I did um get it from someone who I had used it a couple of times and it wasn't for them so I am excited to try that so for powder I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter powder in the shade Butter I love this so much it is very finely milled and gets everywhere but I don't care because I love it. Oh, that smell. There's something about the smell of this that just makes me feel, I don't know, like, like I'm pampering myself. Love the dark. It doesn't dry my skin out. It's just beautiful. Blurs everything. I hate that my favourite powder is an expensive one, but you do get a lot in there. And believe me when I say you only need a tiny bit. Like, I literally took the lid off and used the lid, what tiny bit was in the lid, and it has done my whole face what was in the lid. 
love it so for powder blusher i'm going in with the kaleidos charisma contour palette in cool and light and take the slip out i use the middle one for contouring i like it <laughs> it's the cooler one kaleidos is a brand that i just hooked on i have the flower punk on its way to me um as soon as it arrives in the uk um i have the astro pink here in my box of shame uh the electro turquoise on its way so exciting stuff Yeah, I love the formula of their products. I really love the formula. I'm so excited for the flower punk because see, it looks to me more like, it, it looks almost like the Melt Gemini palette, but better, the color story is better. So I can take that one off my list now, the, the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette which is just always sold out everywhere anyway. Um, because, yeah, I think the Flower Punk is more, more my kind of colour story. It looks stunning. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, let's... Oh, do I need to do anything else? Oh, what I am going to do... Let's get a little brush. So I'm going to dip in with the lighter one there quick because I do want to uh, just brighten down my nose in here. Surprise me, I didn't think I would actually use this, this powder, the top one, but yeah, it really does a fantastic job of brightening. So just a little bit there, oh much better so I'm going to use the Catrice Slim Matte Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Brown for my brows today um, I don't know if this actually does anything but I've started combing them up a bit <laughs> but who knows there's not really anything much to comb but hmm. does it do anything? Who knows? Right. I do love this pencil. So much I have a backup. It is really, really good. Really, really good. What else is there to talk about? Oh, as I'm filming this, it will be tomorrow, but as you're watching this, it will be yesterday. My daughter is leaving school. I, I can't believe she is old enough to be leaving school. Where has the time gone? Weird. I remember being younger and people saying about make the most of whatever because time goes fast once you attack yourself with a pencil and <laughs> time goes fast once you have kids and uh, boy were they right but then I don't know if it's that it goes faster I think it's that you you kind of notice it more because obviously you're watching your kids grow and they like growing from a an infant to a child to a teenager to a young adult and it's it's scary i'm finding it scary i think uh, for me it's been the she doesn't need me so much anymore and uh, i find that really hard I think she thinks I'm a bit of a soppy thing, but I can't help it. She's my baby. <laughs> Not that she's going to love me calling her that. 
<laughs> yeah, this pencil is just so easy to use. I love it. I'll turn it up a bit. So yeah, she leaves school tomorrow. My stepson has already left school. His last day was Tuesday. Wow. Mental. Yeah, kids really do grow up too fast. My uh, my daughter started making these. Uh, it's her own recipe. She kind of tweaked things. And she makes these. They're kind of a banana biscuit scone. They're amazing. There were some there this morning. And I was like, oh, I'll have some for breakfast. But they were for her teachers. Well, the nice teachers. The, uh, the not so nice teachers didn't get anything, I don't think. Um... Contacts are moving. I don't think you can see it so much with these because they're they're bigger. What well, I don't know if it's that they're bigger or that because they've got the round the edge bit. I don't know what you call it. I probably do, but my brain's just like no, we are not playing ball today. Apparently, we're doing thinner eyebrows today. So yeah. That's what we're doing. They definitely don't match. At all. Oh, actually while I'm doing my brows, that reminds me. The, my How To series, which please bear in mind, I'm not a makeup artist. It is how I do, how I do things. Um, yeah, my, my How To series, is starting this coming week um so yeah there there is that <laughs> i feel kind of weird because i'm not i'm not a makeup artist at all like everything i do is kind of self-taught and i've learned from other kind of beauty youtubers before i started my channel and I still learn a lot from the others now. I think when it comes to makeup, you're always learning because there's always going to be like new techniques. Um, there's always going to be people that have a better technique for your skin type, for, you know, whatever. And uh, I just think that that's good, good, fun, fun. I like it anyway. <laughs> All right, there's my eyebrows. Right. They will do for now. I can always touch them up if need be. All right, so I nipped off to stick some eye drops in because my contact lenses were sticking to my eyelids and moving, and I can't remember what I was talking about. So. This is me. Um, the eye primer I'm going in with today is the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. I haven't used this for a while, um, but I love it. So I thought I would dig that back out. I've got a few that I love now. This is definitely one of them. This is one that I do recommend way around all of that so I have been doing my physio exercises three times a day every day as I'm meant to and I know the physio told me that with regards to my knees it could take like around three months to get them back working properly but so frustrated I'm so frustrated I did try like doing the exercises more to see if that would help and all I've done is cause myself more pain so yeah a 
future future in future <laughs> i will listen to what the physio doctor the specialist whoever i will listen to what they say because uh yeah i was not right <laughs> it did not help it has not made my knees better any faster they are improving there is an improvement but it's just not happening as fast as i would like because i would love to be able to just leave the house go for a wander downtown have a look at things you know i, I don't mind taking it slowly and stopping for rests etc for my knees i just want to be able to do it because i have not walked into town in November, December, January, February, March, April, crikey, seven months, seven months. So I know that a lot of me, you know, a lot of the pain I feel like throughout my body and that, um, with it being the complex regional pain syndrome, I am aware that a lot of that, you know, probably won't go and you know it's, it's likely that this is long term but my knees my knees however it's degradation i've left the window open two seconds oh i was wondering why everything sounded so noisy there and it was because i had left my window open i opened it just to get a bit of fresh air whilst i uh, stuck my eye drops in and had some water oh so the eyeshadow palette I'm using today is the SP Cosmetics Honeycomb Palette. This one here. I haven't used this palette, but I've used two of the other ones. I love the formula. So yeah, we are... I don't know what I'm doing yet, actually. What do I want to do? Okay. Hmm. Do I really want the brighter yellow? Right. Okay. Okay. So the first colour I am going in with is this one at the bottom in the middle there. It hasn't got a mirror in the palette, so I shall be using my Made by Mitchell one. So let me make sure I've tapped out that primer actually before I go in. So I do have all four of the palettes. I think there's four. I have, I have them all. Um, the orange one is still in my box of shame. Um, but SP Cosmetics is a UK indie brand and she's so lovely, just so lovely. And for my channel's first birthday the giveaway i do actually have one of the sp cosmetics palettes in that giveaway which i'm really excited for i'm so excited to be able to give back and just celebrate and make make you a part of it I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. Well, it's showing up. It's a little kick up -y, but then that's quite normal for a yellow. Yeah, yeah I'm not getting fallout though. But it's definitely adhering to the eye that's a beautiful color i just felt like being kind of summery sunshiny i don't know just i just wanted to do a really nice kind of simple look today um so yeah that's what we're doing i do love yellow such a happy colour. Sunshine, buttercups, 
primroses. I'm, I could go on and on and on, but I won't because uh, then I forget what I'm talking about. And <laughs> well, I forget what I'm talking about most of the time anyway. But that is okay. I'll try to keep the uh, the mirror out of the out of the way. Right, so there, there's my there. Okay. Right, let's make sure this is tapped out. Yep. This is so pretty. So I've been slowly building up my list of UK indie brands to add to the video. So I will soon be filming a video, basically just I'm talking about the UK indie brands that I've discovered and, and love. So if that is something you're interested in, then uh, you're going to want to make sure you are subscribed and I've hit the notification bell so that you're receiving the notifications. So the list is pretty big. Um, but I wanted to make sure that the ones I added were ones that I have tried products from. I didn't want to kind of give give you uh, the details for a brand and say, oh, look at this uh, UK indie brand, but then I haven't tried it myself, so I wouldn't be able to kind of I wouldn't feel comfortable in uh, in kind of talking to you guys about it. I don't know if that makes sense. This is building up beautifully. A lot of yellows. The more you blend, you kind of blend them away. But no, this is looking beautiful. Yeah, all I've been doing is just building and building just on the same colour, just to just make sure it's really there and really blended out. If you see like a couple of marks there, it's just I need to I need to pluck those hairs out. So sorry if you see that. It's nothing to do with the eyeshadow. That is me. Okay, so so for the outer V, I'm going to go in with this kind of a yellowy brown. This is the deepest shade in here. So I'm going to use that to deepen the outer V here. There's just something about these kind of yellow and browny yellows together and it's just beautiful. So yeah, what was I saying? UK indie brands. <laughs> There's some absolutely amazing ones. The reason I wanted to do it is because a lot of my subscribers in the UK um well it's harder it's harder to get hold of stuff from like America, etc. You know, you've got the long way and everything. I'm not saying it's not worth it because I have stuff still on the way from America and stuff that I have got already that has come from America but for those of you that are wanting something that's easier to get hold of for you in the UK or even if you're not in the UK and you're interested in some UK indie brands so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it whether I'm just going to be showing you products, whether I'm going to try and incorporate something from them all in a look. I don't know yet, but I've definitely been compiling my list. I might do it that I talk about the brand and show you my favourite products from them, maybe. Anyway, 
let me know what you think would work for you how how you would like to be kind of introduced to these brands the only downside to it if i do try and incorporate products is i won't be able to incorporate everything obviously because uh, i only have one face and two eyes no yeah. Not exactly a problem. Oh, my ears, I can't hear a thing. All right, I'm quickly going to go back over the edges with that first yellow, just to make sure it's all blended nicely. I love these colors. So we're feeling happy and sunshiny today. Need a bit more of that one. Happy and sunshiny. While I was doing my skincare, I was listening to Daddy Yankee. Oh, I love him love him so much i've loved him since i was a teenager and i'm so happy he's still going yeah i just find that his music makes me feel good beautiful all right for under the eyes i'm going to firstly go in with a bit of the deeper yellowy brown and then Probably blend out a little bit with the brighter yellow. Let's see. So, get a bit of the deeper brown first. Ah, oh, Mr. Fluff. I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but we have a Mr. Fluff in here. He's decided that he wants to join us today. He's busy grooming himself so all i can hear is weird licking noises bless him yeah the performance of these shadows is beautiful i do love these so yeah i do have the full set now which makes me happy Definitely a brand that I have my eye on. Beautiful. And then let's get a little fluff if you want, you little one fluffy, you'll do. And then just with that bright yellow that we haven't used yet, I just want to just want to use that kind of to blend out underneath. I think it is going to add something nice. Oh, look at that. It's definitely showing up. They are a bit powdery, but I really don't mind that when you get this kind of payoff. Yeah, with ugh. yeah, with regards to the UK indie brand video, let me know how you think it will best kind of work for you guys. that all right and then back in with a bit of the yellowy brown I just want to make sure they're kind of blended together nicely
Hmm. Okay. So I am liking what that is looking like. Let's have a bit of water. Right, so I'm wanting to use all three shimmers. I'm not going to be using glitter today. Um, I've used glitter a lot recently. Um, so the I'm going to go in with this shimmer here for the outer part of my lid, and then this for the rest of my lid, and then this one up here for inner corner and brow bone highlight. So just to <laughs> make life easy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not putting glitter primer on today. I'm just going to be spraying my brush with my Catrice Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. I love it. So let's get some of this on. Look at that. So beautiful. absolutely gorgeous I like speaking like honeycomb etc um i am terrified of bees wasps um the wasp one you now i, I kind of get and whatever but the bees one i think because without bees you know eventually well i think it's like seven years we could only survive without bees um I really want to kind of lose my fear of them and I discovered this guy whilst on the five day challenge with Think Media there was a guy it's called the Bee Sanctuary I think I've gone ahead and subscribed to him anyway um in the hope that by educating myself or being educated learning about them that it will help and get rid of that because I, I would love to be able to say, like put plant flowers that would attract bees and everything but I I go out of my way to not attract bees at all because they scare me <laughs> oh, I do love this I have, need to stop loading my brush up so much <laughs> Yeah, I'm really hoping that that is going to help. I haven't watched any of the videos yet. I've just gone and subscribed. Um, but yeah, I definitely will be. That is so pretty. So pretty. Oh, I just plastered it everywhere. everywhere. Right, and with the other side of the same brush, am I going to use the same brush? Yeah, let's use the other side of the same brush, just in with the second one. And placing that on the inner part of my lid. Oh. It's beautiful. I love these little palettes. Yeah, so I think um, SB Cosmetics is a pretty new indie brand. Um, but yeah, I've been impressed thus far. And I think these palettes, where I've got all of them, they'll be nice to kind of use together as well. Like treat them all as kind of one palette because 
there's so many shades from like within all four of them that will work so well together. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then just taking the tiniest bit of the first one we put on, I'm just going to Kind of pat that over. Oh, this is so pretty. So for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the lightest of the shades. I know I've already said that, but just <laughs> I just thought I'd show you again. So this one is a very Ooh. I am loving the yellow. That. So as you're watching this, I, when I've finished filming, I shall be watching and listening to my very good friend Rob, Rob Childs, who is an amazing country singer. If you like country music, you really, you really need to check him out. He's doing kind of live stream things. Um, he's been doing it throughout the pandemic and it is so much fun. And he's super talented and a really lovely guy. And uh, his partner, Izzy, his fiance, Izzy, she is so lovely. And she, like, throughout the pandemic, she started off quite not wanting to be seen on the camera. And now she'll even, like, dress up in, like, costume and stuff. It's so much fun. So much fun. So yeah, if uh, if you like country music and you're on Facebook, search Rob Childs. He is definitely worth tuning in for. And uh, his shows, he does a more classic country on a Thursday, which is the day I'm filming. Um, and then on a Saturday, it's foot stomp. Yeah, Thursday, it's 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. UK time. And then Saturday, it's 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. UK time for foot stomp. So yeah, if you're at a loose end, you like country music, go check it out. Okay, so I'm back. I have bought a new bottle of water, my trusty new eyelash curlers which i am loving so yeah let's get some curl in these things the sun is out it looks beautiful outside whilst i was uh on a break to uh grab a bottle of water i ended up chatting to my mum on video chat 
and uh, she doesn't live too far from me. There's like a stretch of water in between us, but um, they're sat in the garden there sunbathing. Well, it does look really nice. So I think this afternoon, because obviously I'm going to be watching stroke listening to my friend Rob, so I think I may have to. What am I doing? I may have to take him outside and sit in the sunshine. So I do have a table and chairs literally just outside my back door which is really helpful considering I can't walk far but we'll get there oh the mascara is the Medeja Lush mascara from Madage Beauty I must remember to keep saying that because uh, I just assume everyone knows that that is what I'm using do you know what I'm starting to say I might not Shall I put on lashes? Yeah, I didn't last week, did I? So, I'm, yeah, I will do. It's just that the the new eyelash curlers, along with this mascara, I just I actually look like I've got lashes of my own, which uh, yeah makes makes quite the change. Let's bit more on. I don't really need to do this considering I'm putting on uh, putting on lashes but for those of you wondering what this is like this is I haven't really built it up at all my lashes are they're shorter stumpy straight takes a lot to curl usually I curl them and put a mascara on and they just like droop back to straight but yeah I love this. So, oh, I've got to leave them to dry. So while I wait for them to dry, I've got the Avet Beauty Lash Adhesive Liner. So I've got the Catitude Two in One Liner and Lash Adhesive from Artitude Cosmetics, which I love. Um, so I'm assuming this is the the same kind of thing. Oh, this all makes a noise when you shake it. Okay, so let me get me little tweezers at the ready. All right, little tweezers. Take the lids off them. All right. And give it a good shake. And let's see what she does. This I did receive in the PR package from Yvette Beauty. And then the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Rebel. It's one thing I do love about these liner and lash adhesives in one. It's just a case of stick your liner on and then stick your lashes down. Look at that. Well, 
It works. <laughs> Helps if you try and take the lid off the right end. Okay. Next lash on. So in my waterline, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. I love these liners, they are so good. Right, try and do it so you can see. So I also have the Mood Crayons from Linda Halberg and they are also totally amazing. I think would I say they're slightly creamier? I think they might be slightly creamier. But you've got, these are your, your really good affordable alternative. I have heard that they dry out quick, but I don't know if I've just not had them long enough for that to happen yet, or, or whether I'm lucky. Who knows? I'm sure. I will find out. Something about yellow in the waterline. I really like it. I really like it. And then back in with the Medeja Lash Mascara. Just for those bottom lashes. I don't build them up um, too much. I just like to... You know, just make sure you can see that I actually do have lashes on the bottom. <laughs> I just think it looks a bit bare with nothing on them. Okay, that will do. So for blush, I'm going in with the Pout and Shout Sensitive Sally. And as you can see, she's well loved. I love, love this blush so much. So I had to take a quick break a minute ago to go and get the door because the postman arrived and I don't know how exciting this is going to be for you guys, but for me it's super exciting. So firstly, I have both of the Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 on DVD. So excited about that. And an old classic, Lost Boys. Have any of you guys seen this? If not, why not? It is amazing. This is one of my childhood favourites. Although... Thinking about it, I'm not quite sure why as a young child I was watching it, but it's an amazing film. Amazing. So I am chuffed to bits to have that on DVD now. There's just something about those old classic films, the ones you watched when you were a teenager or or younger. It's like the, the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid was the first video video not dvd this was before dvds so i got the little mermaid video which at the time was 10 pounds which was like so much money but it was my birthday money and it was the first video i'd bought for myself and over the moon and that film is just kind of i don't know 
followed me throughout my life. There's just something special about it. And then there's also Care Bears the movie, one and two. I can still watch them as an adult and feel like a child. It's just so good. Do any of uh, you lot get that? Or is that just me? <laughs> oh. I do overdo the blush a bit if you're new, but that's because that's what I like. I like a strong blush. do stuff stop now <laughs> I could easily just carry on adding more and more and then I have got a highlighter brush there yep and then I'm going in with the Kaleidos Space Age highlighter the Solar Sailor no point showing you the inside because it looks white but this as you're about to see look at that pure yellow shiny yellow goodness These highlighters are the bomb. I've got Solar Sailor and I've got Skywalker and both of them are just amazing. Skywalker is a bit more glittery, which I don't mind. So I guess if you don't, I changed my uh, message alert tone because uh, the, the last one was uh, a little embarrassing to have going. <laughs> So we have a new one. Oh, this is so pretty. So this is another thing, highlighter. I just keep applying more and more and more. And I need to stop. But I don't want to. And a bit down there, a bit more than that. Look at that. Let's add some more. Perfect. And then a bit to the end of the nose. I'm just going to put this everywhere today. I just feel like being really kind of golden and glowy. So that's what we are. <laughs> that's what we are going for today. Golden and glowy. I am, however, going to quickly go across there because I think I did too much. I don't want any lines. But yeah, definitely wanting to fill the glow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Then just back over with the blusher brush just to kind of melt them together, mesh them together, get them to make friends. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling now, excuse me. So today I actually remembered to dig out my Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. I'm always forgetting I've got this. It is so good. I wouldn't say it does plumping. There's no tingle in it whatsoever. But it does make your lips feel really nice and moisturised and ready for liquid lipstick. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have a lip liner that will go with the lipstick I'm wanting to use. It's the Eboni Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Frenchie. So I'm going in with the number seven Amazing Eyes Pencil in Brown as my lip liner today. Because yeah, I think that is actually going to go. I need to not talk whilst doing this, don't I?
I'm just going to colour in kind of the outer edges. Maybe not whilst talking. And then the lipstick I'm going in with is the Aboni Cosmetics in the shade Frenchie. I have been dying to try this. Just tapping a little bit on the edges. Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm liking that. So let's take this thing off and see what the hair looks like. Do we need to tie it up? That is the question. It's on a bit of a mad one today. But, yeah, that'll do. Let's wear it down. Shall we? Or shall I put some up? Let's stick a bit up. So yes, this is the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the live chat if uh, if you are here um, and if you're watching at a later day. Let me know what you think. It's actually quite quite toned down for me. I'm really enjoying it. I'm feeling very summery and happy. <laughs> so I think I'm actually going to go and sit in the garden in the sunshine for a bit because it's still sunny. So fingers crossed that continues so yeah if you've liked this video then please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out um karma chameleon playlist i will make sure is linked in the cards linked is in the cards <laughs> um for if you wanted to go back and watch any of the others but if you like the live chat then uh yeah every saturday 3 p.m uk time right here on my channel so yeah make sure that you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so that you receive a not notification whenever i upload but yeah thank you everyone in the live chat because uh I'm pretty sure that that's buzzing as usual is my favorite place to be on a Saturday so thank you so much guys I love you all so much if you're watching at a later date thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and if you're not subscribed already then uh, then I hope you'll consider sticking around I generally do a lot of really colorful makeup looks and I am a huge supporter of indie brands so yeah, if that sounds good to you, then uh, go ahead and subscribe. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.